Welcome back to our virtual ocean adventure. The world's five oceans cover two thirds of the Earth's surface and they're bursting with life from the very small to the very big. There's a greater variety of life in the world's oceans than anywhere on land, so we need to protect them. Let's find out how. There are many threats to marine life. Plastic pollution is a big threat to our oceans. Overfishing across the world is affecting the ecosystem of our oceans. And oil spills continue to have disastrous consequences for marine life. So what's the problem with plastic? It is thought that over 8 million tonnes of plastic enters our oceans every year. Plastic is cheap and easy to make. However, it is very long lasting. Plastic is a danger to fish, birds and other sea life because creatures confuse plastics with food. For example, a plastic carrier bag can look a lot like a jellyfish, which is food for a leatherback turtle. Some plastics can cause injury to creatures. Plastic nets floating in the ocean are known to entangle marine life. Fish, turtles and dolphins are among creatures most commonly in danger from this. So how can we solve the plastic problem? One of the solutions is to create less waste, so less new plastics enter the ocean. We can reduce, reuse and recycle. Reduce your use of plastic. Instead of buying bottled drinks, fill up your own bottles at home. Say no to plastic bags, reuse old bags or carry a backpack. Sort your rubbish, use recycling bins, don't put plastic down drains and never leave litter on the ground. Now to a different problem affecting our oceans, overfishing. This means taking so many fish of a particular species from the sea so quickly that there are not enough left to breed. This puts the population of the species at risk and leads to a decrease in numbers or even to extinction. In the ocean ecosystem, all species, both animals and plants, are interdependent. Overfishing can have an impact on many elements of the food chain. What do you think would happen if all the tuna were removed from this food chain through overfishing? You might like to pause the video here and have a think about it. If the tuna were removed from this food chain, then the sharks would not survive as they would have nothing large enough to eat. The small fish would have no predator, so numbers would increase. The small fish would eat all the krill. The small fish would then eat all the plankton the small fish would have nothing left to eat and would no longer survive. Let's find out about another problem caused by the fishing industry, bycatch. Modern fishing equipment is very efficient at capturing everything in its path, leading to the big problem of bycatch. This is when other species are caught unintentionally and then discarded as they are not the target species. Bycatch affects not only billions of fish, but also turtles, dolphins, small whales and seabirds. How can we solve the overfishing problem? The good news is that making positive changes does have a successful outcome in terms of helping fish populations recover and thrive. Many countries have marine protected areas where limited fishing is allowed so that fish have safe spaces to grow and reproduce. Governments set fishing quotas, which put limits on how many fish from each species can be caught. There are regulations about the type of boats and equipment that are used. For example, using fishing nets with certain size of gaps to reduce bycatch. Fish that have been caught sustainably have a blue tick on their packaging, which helps shoppers to make more positive choices when they're buying fish. There's another way that humans are having a negative environmental impact on our oceans. Let's learn more about oil spills and their threat to our oceans by looking at a particular case study. The Sea Empress oil disaster. Let's take a look at the timeline. The Sea Empress became grounded on the 15th of February 1996. The ship was on the way to the Texaco oil refinery near Pembroke on the west coast of Wales. She became stuck on the rocks at St Anne's Head and 72,000 tonnes of crude oil flowed into the sea. The oil spilled out into the Pembrokeshire Coast National Park. This area is very important for wildlife and marine conservation. The collision with the rocks punctured the ship's starboard hull. Tugs from the nearby port of Milford Haven tried to pull her free. 
However, every time the vessel detached from the tugs, more sections of the hull were sliced open. Thousands of birds died in the first few weeks. A rescue centre was set up, but only a small number of rescued birds survived. It took until 2001 for marine wildlife to return to normal. When considering the impact on the economy and the environment, the cost of this disaster was £120 million. Oceans are a critical part of the biosphere and are the largest ecosystem on the planet. Together, we need to protect the oceans and keep learning about how to care for them. Join us in the next part of our virtual ocean adventure. We'll be diving under the waves to explore life in the sunlight zone. See you there. And remember, you can travel through our virtual ocean adventure with your very own resource pack full of a range of activities. You can download yours in the link below this video. Another great addition to your home ed journey.